Oh great, I already got on the counter. What's crack a lacking? That should joke. definitely be your intro. Yeah. What's crack a lacking to the second part, guys? So I'm just here drinking my beer. Yeah. And her makeup is smeared. Look at that. Good morning. First things first, coffee. I use oat milk. I use coffee make creamer. Same shit that I've always used. Um, except. I love peppermint, like peppermint mocha, so I've been adding peppermint, just like a little tiny, tiny bit to my coffee. Like I've had this for like a couple weeks and like I've hardly made a dent in it. And then I add MCT oil for digestion and chat, so. Just like a little splash of both. And now I need to go do some fasted cardio and abs, which is not my favorite thing. I'm also not really hungry right now, especially with the coffee too. Let's go to the gym. I'm not a morning person. It's cold today, I hate being cold. So I ended up drinking my coffee while doing the Alexis Ryan ab routine and also on the treadmill. This is me trying to explain to you that I do speed like 5, 5.2, incline 10 for 30 minutes. And this is me showing you that I'm on the treadmill. Just kidding. Got your ass. Uh -huh. And then yeah, I did like 30 minutes and then I usually cool down for like 5. Yeah, that's me. Hi. Hey guys! What are we making? What are you gonna call them? What are they called? Some AI bullshit. Oh yeah. Probably. AI wraps. <laughs> Horrible. We're making our version of the TikTok breakfast crunch wraps, kind of? We're making our famous breakfast wrap that you see on my Instagram stories every single Schwan day. wrap. No, it's trash. I wanted to... <laughs> okay, it's not trash. It doesn't roll off the tongue. Lanron wrap. No, Lanron wrap. <laughs> <laughs> this is our breakfast wrap. The seven layer burrito breakfast wrap to the second power. Three layer? Oh, fucking no. What should we call our TikTok crunch wrap things that we make Remix. for breakfast? Ours is way better though. Yeah, ours is Honestly. so much better. So our ingredients are, for me, first of all. For me. For me. Some type of mozzarella dairy-free lactose-free cheese. This one is okay. This is from Trader Joe's, but this is the cashew one. So if you have any friends like mine, my best friend will die if he eats these. So I don't like to have this in the house. It was an accident, to be honest. Yeah, this bitch is being loud as fuck. Also, if you hear clicking, it's the fucking, what do you call that? Lean, mean, fat, grilled machine. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? If you're like me and you can't eat cheese like that, this one by So Delicious is so good. I'll put it on the screen. So good. Also, I don't- farts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's lactose. She'd be like, <laughs> you say that like you know that. This, this is so Perfect. good. Fact. Sometimes I mess up the uh, cheese and she eats mine. And she bites into it, she's like, this is so good, but I'm like, oh, that was mine. Okay, so yeah, whatever. We need cheese. He uses big body cheese. No, this one's a big body cheese. Well, yeah, same thing. These are probably the most important ingredients from Trader Joe's. I know Sprouts also has like a corn salsa, but some type of corn salsa, like a sweet corn salsa. The hot and sweet jalapenos from Trader Joe's. If you don't have Trader Joe's, you need to... Oh, it's a bar on the treadmill. Oh. <laughs> I was like, is there a bomb in the house? Um, next is the hot and sweet jalapenos from Trader Joe's. So good. These little guacamole cups are perfect for these crunch wraps and pretty much only for these crunch wraps. From Costco, we use half in each of ours. If you have seen any of my what I eat in a days, I feel like I'm always using these chicken sausages from Trader Joe's. I like the spicy jalapeno one. Love my shit spicy. But we were using these ones from Costco. Pineapple and bacon or the apple. What was the other one? Apple some shit? I don't know. Just chicken sausage Maple in apple. general. Whatever flavor you like. And then some tortillas. Has to be chicken sausage because chicken sausage is way better than normal sausage, nutrition wise. And flavor. Yes. And then just some of these. Tortillas. Right? I think that's it. Yeah. Oh no. Um, uh, what about dipping sauces later? Yeah, we'll get to the dipping sauces. Okay. Very important. Oh, and eggs. We forgot about the eggs. Yeah. The eggs. So all we're doing is cutting a little, little slit right here because we're going to wrap it exactly like this. I like to do this beforehand so it folds better. I already cut up the sausage. We just do them in like little tiny bite-sized pieces so that when we fold it, it like folds pretty like flat. And they're thin. Yeah. They're gonna go in between here. So if you have them like chunky, they're not gonna close right. Your tortilla is gonna rip. Bad news. So very thin slices for the chicken sausages. Hey guys, it's future Ashley doing a voiceover because the treadmill in the background of these clips was really annoying. Okay, so first, obviously you're gonna take your tortilla and take some guacamole or if you just don't have guacamole, you can use avocado. You really just wanna make sure you're not putting it too close to the edges so it doesn't seep out. 
and then on the next portion you just add your choice of cheese then we're gonna add some sweet corn salsa and then just so the jalapenos stick we put them on top of the cheese we usually put like five or six or if you just don't like spicy stuff obviously just skip the jalapenos but they're really good and then we're gonna add our seasonings right on top of the guacamole just so it like sticks we obviously start off with everything but the bagel seasoning black pepper as always and crushed red pepper as actually always and then you just add your cooked chicken sausage which i put way too much on this usually i only put it on like one fourth of this little tortilla but for some reason i put like the whole chicken sausage on there and i would not recommend because my thing fell apart after this and then you just put an egg on the first little portion of it and then you pretty much just put cheese on top of each layer to use it as glue so everything stays together and then you just fold it up see beautiful so we're gonna put it in the lean mean fat reducing grilling machine it has to be facing up because gravity will force it down obviously let it set on there and then we need our famous Crystal. Glass. Glass. Let's just say it's crystal. <laughs> <laughs> crystal sounds better. For the weight dis distribution. Distribution. Yes. Leave it there for like what? Five to seven minutes. What? Check like on it. Three. Let, no, no, they can see it. They're here. I, I learned this the other day. You can see it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe because it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's how we do it. X amount of minutes later, she looks beautiful. That looks disgusting. I like how the ones that we're recording like turn out the shittiest. No, literally. It's gonna be delicious though. So now that the breakfast crunch wrap is done, the most important thing is the sauce, I think. The guacamole salsa, this brand, and this brand only. We like the medium, so fire, this brand. Also some Cholula for the flavor. And then this is my favorite juice, the suja green juice. Apple, celery, cucumber, kale, collard greens, lemon, mint tea, ginger, spinach, spirulina, chlorella, and barley grass. But I just got a juicer so I could pretty much make this and I made it yesterday and it tasted exactly like it without putting like kale and collard greens and some of the ingredients. So that's what I'm gonna start doing after this is gone. But since I still have it, I'm gonna drink it today. Also, we made immunity shots last night and it also stained my fingers like yellow. We put ginger, turmeric, black pepper, cayenne, and coconut water and lemon. Expired coconut water, so these should be fun. And yeah, that's breakfast. Favorite breakfast ever. Could eat it every day. We haven't tried our immunity shots that we made. I'm scared. So Expired we're trying one coconut milk. Expired. And a shit ton of everything else. Okay, let's go. <gasps> Okay. My Yours. It's mine. <laughs> Girl, where'd you get your nails done Stop. at? <laughs> Turmeric land. Mm. Good. Could be stronger. Yeah. Actually, wait. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, you have to use expired coconut water in order for this to work. So you get diarrhea. And that's when you know the immunity went right through you. Expired five months ago though. Cheers to that. Five Good months. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. You guys uh -huh. have issues. <laughs> All right, guys, back to you. So now that I just finished my workout, which was honestly not bad. Today we did shoulders and tries. Kind of great. Pretty easy. So now I'm going to go make something for lunch. Probably like, oh, one of my good salads. We'll probably do that. But before I eat a salad, I don't have enough energy to literally hop in the shower right now. So I'm going to have a verb energy bar. I've talked about these before. They are so good and also so convenient. Literally one of these is like the equivalent to having like a shot of espresso. But also the macros on this are very good. These have, let's see, like 13, I think. 13 grams of carbs, two grams of protein, really low fat, three grams of fat, which is like perfect because I'm not really eating that much fat either. Honestly, yeah, they're only 90 calories and they hardly have like any sugar in them and like all of the ingredients. Let's see, they have oats, agave, almonds, crisp brown rice, organic quinoa, brown sugar, vanilla extract, green tea, caffeine, and sea salt, period. But Verb is actually the sponsor of today's video. I absolutely love these little bars because they're so convenient. Literally, if I'm ever like in a rush, like let's say I wake up and I have to like go do something right away. I leave these on my counter, usually like right over here, but I also have extra in my snack drawer down here. I always keep them like really accessible so I can either throw them in my purse and whenever I'm traveling, I always keep these in my backpack, my travel backpack. I'm gonna eat the salted peanut butter one. Um, they also have hella flavors. Let's see. I usually always get a giant vanilla latte because I can't get enough vanilla lattes in my day, babe. You know, I start my day off with a vanilla latte and then have one of these bad boys. I'm not sure if there's more flavors. I might be missing one, but we have salted peanut butter, vanilla latte, lemon raspberry, coconut chai, and maple blueberry. This probably could be like one bite to most people, but I like to savor them. So I usually try to like split it up into like six bites. And they're so good. They remind me kind of like the crisp brown rice. And these are so yummy. They literally taste like, what are those like chocolate bars? Why do I feel like I have one in here? I'm such a fat ass. Not me getting one out of my nightstand. <laughs> But it's been here for like six months, okay? They have like a similar like crunch as a crunch bar. The fact that I literally couldn't think of what a crunch bar was when I'm talking about the crunch in these. So good. So if you guys like snacks like me, you can literally try these out. Get their starter back. It's like 12 bucks. It comes with 12 bars plus four extra bars. So you can see which flavors you like. You know, you get to try all of them pretty much. So 
yeah, if you guys like snacks, link is gonna be in the description. And thank you, Verb, for sponsoring this video. All right, so I'm gonna go finish this, hop in the shower, probably make a bomb ass salad right now. See you in a bit. 10 years later, and I'm out of the shower. And also, I just sat in my bed for 10 minutes. 15, 20, 25. Just had three of these. What the fuck? <laughs> Casually getting it out of the trash. These frozen strawberries from Trader Joe's. Chocolate covered strawberries. So good. Probably definitely does not fit in my macros as much as it should. It's fine. It's not gonna kill me. Don't care, regardless. So now we're gonna be making a really, really good salad. We have mom and dad bowls. <laughs> we have a kale salad mix that has, I think, just cabbage and carrots inside. We have mini cucumbers, one each. Bloobs, strawberries from the farmer's market. My fave, I love sprouts so much, I don't know why. Just the flavor gives me so much joy in my mouth. And then, if you're not a little wuss, puss, puss, then we'll put some red onion on there. And then a really good, decently skinny dressing mixture is a little bit of balsamic mixed with the green goddess dressing from Trader Joe's, topped with some tilapia that we're gonna just make in the oven. So guys, what we're gonna use is garlic lovers. Cause what a coincidence. <laughs> Crushed red pepper. Okay. Rainbow popcorns. Pepper. And red pepper. Cayenne. 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 Porsche. Cayenne. I would love to put some avocado on this salad, but we're really low on fats today. That goes went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna season it with garlic lovers. Next, crushed red pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was a lot. Next, ze pepper. Pepper. Then we got cayenne pepper. Careful, don't want it too spicy. Why is it spicy? And you rub it in. Some onions. Last but not least, lemon. I'm actually gonna squeeze some on top first. Save the rest for after, and then just put these on there. And then we're putting this in the oven for what? 12 minutes, 375. The dressing looks so unappetizing, but it smells so good. It's literally so balsamic. Let's see, avocado, green onion, lemon juice, chives, basil, garlic. So good. It goes with like fish so well. We did this with salmon, what, like last week, and it was so good. We're doing a little bit skinnier of a recipe today. It's finally time for dinner time. What? Sure. And we're making Gigi Hadid's famous vodka Bella. sauce. Gigi. Bella's better. Gigi's better. <laughs> we are making Gigi's spicy vodka pasta. A little bit healthier. I mean, not really. We're just using like chickpea pasta. My favorite brand is Bonza. So, so good. I get this at like Whole Foods and Sprouts. Ivan's in the corner pounding his meat, fully interrupting. <laughs> But anyways, yeah. I feel like one of the best really easy pastas that I like to make. I don't even like red sauce really, but like this, like it's like a creamy, a little bit tomatoey sauce. So good, so easy to make. What we need, we need olive oil, garlic, onion, tomato paste, heavy cream, a tablespoon of vodka, red pepper flakes, pasta, butter, cheese, and basil, salt, pepper. An amazing assistant chef. And an assistant chef that's going to make chicken for more protein. Let's get to cooking. I'm so excited. I totally forgot about a vegetable. So, I just cut up some zucchini squash. It's like the easiest thing to make. You literally just put oil on a pan, cut up the squash, I peel it, throw that shit in, some garlic salt. I need more. This is the only garlic salt I use, and there's like hardly any in there. Okay, maybe not. Pepper, and that's literally all you need for that. Make sure to get one on the floor. We didn't like that one anyway. Okay, this is gonna be really fast. So this recipe is like for like one, 227.5 grams of pasta, one pack. Oh no, where's my shit? Look at that chicken, that's some good chicken. All right, so we are going to add one fourth cup of oil to a hot as shit little pan. Probably gonna turn that down a lot. And then, oh, just spilled some heavy cream. I don't remember when I was supposed to put the butter in. Maybe I'll put it in now. And then we're gonna just saute. How much onion? Like a fourth of a big onion. I had a mini onion, so I used that. This recipe also calls for like one clove of garlic, so I used four. So once the onion starts to like turn translucent, this is not in the recipe, but this is what I do. I like to add some sun-dried tomatoes that come in like a little baggie. I don't like the ones that come in a can. Those are a little gross, just personal preference. 
I probably put like a fourth a cup of these. Or you just eyeball it for shits and gigs. Then we're gonna add probably like a tablespoon of red pepper flake. Maybe more if you like heat like me. I just put a lot of them in there. And then now that the onions are all translucent, I'm gonna add in fourth a cup of tomato paste. Until the tomato paste gets like a little bit darker in color. I made this too many times. Like I literally can't even find the right recipe online right now. I don't know what happened to it. The one that I usually use, but I made this so many times that like kind of just going with what I remember and adding what I like and it's gonna be delicious. I moved this because it was being like hella steamy and stuff, but I'm gonna add some of this Flavor God spice. It's the everything spicy to these because we just eat everything way too spicy for no reason, but it's good. That's why I prefer my food. Okay, so now that like the sauce has kind of like come together with the olive oil and stuff, then we add half a cup of heavy cream, or if you're vegan, coconut cream. It honestly doesn't taste that coconutty once you put it in this recipe. I don't know when I was supposed to add the vodka, but we're gonna add it now. Pretty sure it's like a tablespoon of vodka or just like a splash. And then, once the sauce is coming together, oh my god, it looks so good. Now we're gonna just put salt and pepper. I would give you an amount, but last time I read a recipe's amount, it was way too salty, I couldn't even eat it. So, I would just kinda eyeball it. Salt and pepper that dish. Time to check the pasta. Uh-oh, I did not stir this, and I definitely should've. This shit is hella sticking together. The noodles are stuck together, and they kinda ripped apart. Okay, so my camera died, but drain the pasta, but before you drain the pasta, you need to save at least like a cup and a half of pasta water. So now I'm going to add some spinach. I feel like I add spinach into literally anything that I can. Okay, so now that the spinach is like a little bit more welted, now I'm just going to pour in like a cup of the pasta water and then the pasta, which I should have added all the oil to. Ah, it's okay. This is looking so pretty. I feel like it's going to need a lot more salt and pepper though. Low-key, maybe more crushed pepper flakes. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so now that our pasta looks absolutely, oh yes, like it has a spoon in it. Looks beautiful. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top and then some basil, which I need to go get from the little basil plant behind me. Okay, now that I put the little basil on there, it's done. I don't know how much I'm gonna eat of this because I'm not that hungry. Also served with this on the side. Okay, I'm gonna go eat this, bye. Little update, we just tried our food and it's really good, but we totally forgot our chicken that's in the microwave right now. <laughs>